So now let's take a look at one of the uh, ones that's kind of under the radar, and that's Doorknock. Uh, got a lot of publicity at Saratoga, of course, because he is Mage's full brother. So we know he has the potential to win the Kentucky Derby, since Mage did. Uh, but let's take a look at him as a horse. Uh, we know the pedigree is sound. Uh, good magic, big brown underneath. Uh, Danny Gargan's a trainer, good New York trainer, mostly claiming, though. Uh, so this would be a, a bit of a, a step up for him and foray onto the Derby Trail. He's been there before, but uh, hasn't had any uh, real major league players. And, of course, you get Luis Saez, who knows how to handle uh, horses who are a little green or a little hard to handle. We've seen him do it uh, time and again with Candied, with the uh, juvenile British Cup juvenile Phillies, uh, finished third, who's a, who's a nice horse. And, of course, Tappet Trice, who is a handful and a half, and he was able to uh, get quite a bit out of him. So, uh, pretty good connections, and uh, we know that this horse has the potential, that's for sure. Uh, just looking at the pedigree, reviewing it real quick, uh, we'll see that uh, Puka, obviously, is a pretty nice mare, uh, having produced Big Brown, and you see... Uh, Raise a native northern dancer from top and bottom uh, with the nick there. So, um, you know, you've got uh, you've got Curlin and uh, on top, you got Big Brown on the bottom. There's two turns all day, and you see the conduit mare profile is a little favoring towards stamina. Um, he's got a you know, mostly speed influences, but uh. But we know that uh, he can get the he should be able to get the distance if his full brother did, uh, and a pretty good uh, genetic strength value score. So, because we have Mage as a frame of reference, we know uh, Dornock is is probably <laughs> probably qualified to win the Kentucky Derby. Uh, we will say this though: Mage did not race it too, and that may explain why Dornock's been a little slow to get going. Uh, might be a bit of a late bloomer, which is kind of exciting to think about uh, because he has uh, he's done pretty well so far. But uh, we just have to remember that Mage ran at three and not at two. So we look at the past performances here, and you can see he had a nice maiden at Saratoga to start, um, finishing behind Seas the Gray, who's an okay prospect. I wouldn't call him a great derby prospect right now. And he, but he had a pretty good race, and then he followed up with the sapling around two turns and got a second to note it, and you note that that was a key race as well. Uh, so they gave him a little time. He came back at, uh, at Keeneland, and he won around two turns for fun, basically. So uh, you do note there are a couple of things, though. There's a little bumping at the start, the left lead. So I think there's still some greenness with, uh, with Doorknock, and so... Uh, that certainly will be fixed with age, uh, but right now, still a little green. So here's the sapling stakes, and this is his biggest effort. So let's see how that one looks. All set see for how the sapling. And they're off. And Got you very see, tight there at the start. Uncle Cat you see Door Knock is, uh, is quickest, has company up on the outside here from Door Knock. It's actually going to be Soze. Soze to the outside of Uncle Cat. up to the inside there. Give it a whirl has joined them. Then down towards the inside here. That's Crazy Mason. Gets passed up the outside from Noted. And Noted is now taken fourth. Very hard to handle is Uncle Cat. Rojas is having a tough time there with Uncle Cat, who now moves towards the outside. Doorknock found a seam, is now taken third. Action pack first quarter. They sort themselves out. It's Give It a Whirl and Charlie Marquez. He's rating pretty well there. One for the opening quarter mile. Just on his fractions. Comes Soze, on comes the speed second. favoring track. So it's a good Crazy place Mason to be. moves forward. Doorknock is progressing three wide. Four wide. Still hard to handle as Uncle Cat noted is now driven along towards the tail end of the field with a half mile left to go. Frankie's Empire has moved to the inside of that one. Second to last is Dewey's Beast and the trailer. Tuscan Ruler, 47. So right here, he's looking good. You know, he's, he's, he's cruising world, along pretty well. Soze is in between horses, and here comes a three-wide move. And there he goes. He's looking Dornock awful good at this point. The lead. It's Dornock who's up by a half length. Battling on is Soze in between horses. Noted starts to rally on, and the Rapoli Silks is going to be four wide. Tightly at the rail still. Give it a whirl. Who's not done? Uncle Cat is trying to chase. Doorknock has taken the lead. He Give changes, it a whirl. changes leads professionally. Towards the inside. 
and noted is rolling now down the question center of the good enough. He's... It's door knock, but noted is now opening up here. Noted out in the center of the racetrack. Yeah, just, you know, just wasn't enough noted against Noted. He's a pretty good horse. I don't know that he's a real prime derby prospect. I think they're probably going to... I wouldn't be surprised if they move him back to turf. But uh, pretty good effort, and you do get the idea that there's certainly potential stuff you can build on with him. So if we just look at the final assessment... Or just the pre-derby trail assessment. What he's Dornock's looking like going in. Obviously, he's going to get an A for pedigree. His brother won the Kentucky Derby. Class, uh, I'm giving him a C plus. So far, so good. Uh, he hasn't got onto the Grade One stage yet. He hasn't. Uh, he hasn't had a big challenge against some of the more prominent, uh, likely Derby contenders. But he appears to be moving in the right direction. Uh, you know, winning that last race for fun he was just basically geared down. And uh, so, uh, you know, there, there's definitely some, been some growth. So progression wise, I'm going to give him a B minus uh, because he still seems a little. I mean, the, uh, the sapling, he ran a ran a nice race, but uh, it, it seems like, you know, if he was on his left lead in the maiden, then then there's still a little greenness there. There's still a little maturing that needs to be done, but he's certainly on his way. So for a prospect, I'll give him a B right now, but it's pretty exciting to think about what might Dornock might turn into uh, later on.